Today I want to talk all about a famous legal case that actually may not be all that famous because it's pretty recent. Uh, it's all about defamation and social media, and I thought that was a pretty interesting and timely topic because we often get questions about what can I post online and will it constitute defamation? Defamation is different amongst the states, so generally speaking, it's hard for us to give a general de uh, definition of defamation. You have to check with each state, but for the most part, it would involve some kind of statement that you're either speaking or writing that may be damaging to somebody else's reputation. In this case, which comes out of California, a very common state to be dealing with defamation claims, there was a CEO of a company and he, there was a female executive that worked for that company she was terminated, and after her termination, the CEO of the company posted a whole bunch of blog posts and social media posts talking all about her performance. She filed a lawsuit about a bunch of other claims related to her termination, such as wrongful uh, termination and various other retaliation and harassment claims. And after she did that, he posted more stuff on social media. She then filed um, some defamation claims. Originally, the court dismissed those claims, but when it went up on appeal, those claims were reinstated. So you have to be careful about what you're saying on social media, even if you're incredibly angry and you have a very large list of people who may be listening to what you have to say, be careful because you never know when those statements are gonna come back to you. Thanks for listening and I hope you enjoyed this installment of Famous Cases.